video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly add a pattern to Critter now, as well as use it a little bit later. Now, first thing to do, just go over here. You can see fill patterns. Now, I've got a pattern here already. That's a pattern that uh, can be found on the Graphic Extras uh, website, graphicextras.com. Download that for free. Uh, it's for commercial and personal use, etc. What you can do then, just go over here to fill patterns, click there, and you can see the patterns that come with there, a whole range of different patterns. But there's an option over here, custom pattern. Just go there and just say user's pattern. So you can use that as a pattern, but if you want to actually add it as a pattern, permanent use, add to predefined. And once you've done that, you go to patterns there, just come back, and you can go down there and you can see there's the pattern. Right, simple as that. So you've added your pattern now to Critter. Well, I'm, what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to create another file. So create new, and I'm going to create a layer, and it's going to be a vector layer. Now you can use these patterns in other things as well. You can use them for fills and much more, just as normal layers with various tools, such as over here, various tools. But what I'm going to do is just going to click there, and a vector layer. I'm going to create a vector layer. So I've got a vector layer. Now, I'm just going to add just a very basic square. And shall I undo that? I'm just going to say I want to use pattern. That's the key thing. Tool options, pattern. I'm not going to have any outline. And I'm going to create the pattern. And you can see the pattern there. That's the pattern, the current pattern that's been used there. So you can see it. What you can do then. You can quickly go over here, you can obviously add various things, but you'll notice there's an option over here, pattern editing. Very useful, pattern editing. And this is for vector layers. So vector layers, you can use pattern editing. Just select there, and I'm gonna, what's the name to do? There, and then what you can do, you can move that around. So you can just move that. You can also mod it on the fly over here in pattern options. There's the various options of like tiled, stretch. I'm just going for the tiled option. It's a seamless tile, you can just use it. See, what you can do then, just drag that over. You can also resize it. So you just you can see what you can do, just go down there. Now I can let you zoom in a bit more. So I'm just gonna just quickly get rid of that there and get rid of that over there. And then just move that around. And you can still, of course, resize just by going there. That's the key area, just there. See that one? Resize it and squeeze it that way, squeeze it out, and there. Right, so that's a very quick and simple way of editing the patterns. And unfortunately, there's no rotation. It'd be really nice if it was a rotation feature, but you can shift it. Just move it there just by shifting it there, or just clicking there and moving that. And then, of course, once you're happy with that, you can, of course, just go to a layer and flatten image. And it will flatten the image. Yeah, then she did. Right, so you've got a flattened image there, and then you can modify it with effects and things, various filters, and much more. So like Gaussian blur, etc. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.